comes from tech fortress and in this video i'll be showing you how to change the maybook this maybook uh this software is in chinese the windows 10 is in chinese and i'll be showing you how to install the english version on that and then in the later videos i'll be showing you the benchmarks and everything for this laptop so let us go check the chinese software which is installed i got this from the xiaomi's uh, store in shanghai and yeah let us go open it and check the OS. Yeah, design wise, it is a very good laptop, uh, good looking, and the aluminum chassis and everything. And it is similar to MacBook Air, but not that thin. But yeah, let us go switch it on. The power button is over in the corner. And everything is Chinese, is in Chinese, and it, the Windows 10 doesn't include the English English language package. You need to install a new one by buying a Windows 10 English version. Over the caps lock. <laughs> yeah, as you can see, everything is in Chinese. Uh, so yeah, for this thing uh, to change your OS, it doesn't have a CD-ROM. So I'll be using a USB thumb drive to install it, uh, and I'll be using a Windows 10 version. I have I have downloaded the ISO from the website i'll be putting the links for that in, in the description below and then you need to buy in uh, buy a key with the, with the orient uh, the windows key from the official website for 110 dollars and then you can install it yeah. uh, let me shut it down and i'll be using my other other laptop which is uh, the razor blade stealth to make a usb key and then install it I'll be I'll be back on my PC. Download Universal USB installer to make your USB portable uh, bootable. Okay, let's download that universe. Yeah, let me dive in and I'll be using my screen recorder so you, you guys can actually use it uh, see it properly. Just in and then you can I can go over here to download the pen drive uh, bootable tool. What this does is it'll make your uh, uh, ISO file, it will transfer the ISO file to your uh, pen drive and, and then make it uh, bootable too. Normally, if you just copy the files, the, the pen drive will not be bootable, so you need to use this. Uh, you need to use this universal USB installer setup. Then, yeah, let me download that. And you can download the required uh, Windows uh, Windows 10 OS in the language, whatever of, of your selection. And then I'll be, I'll be downloading this English thing and I had downloaded it and it's, I placed it on the desktop. Once it's downloaded, you can use your pen drive. I'm using a 16 GB pen drive, and I plug it into my PC and then use the tool to make it bootable. Yeah, I'll be back once the download is done. Uh, select Windows 10 over there. And install and then browse for the ISO file. Uh, place it on the desktop and just select the ISO file and then select the USB drive where you want to install. I'm using this, just uh, check that whether that's the drive or not, otherwise, you're, you're screwed. Uh, it will format everything. So, yeah, it's the E drive, so that's the drive that's the panda. Other if you select some other drive, it will format and everything, and you will you'll lose all the content on that. So, be careful while you're selecting that. And then click create and let them match that. So, this will take a while, and I'll be back once the whole, whole conversion process is done. Let's go and install it on your uh, Amiibo kit, and yeah. What I'll be doing is I'll be creating uh, three partitions, one for Windows 10 and the other two for the Ubuntu. Okay, now let's go do that. 
uh, act as the boot menu for to act as the boot menu uh, need to keep uh, pressing F12 while the computer is booting up so keep holding F12 like or keep pressing F12 and then power the laptop on and that will take you to the boot menu and show all the connected devices that uh, the first one is the internal hard disk the Samsung one and the second one is the drive which I connected the bootable drive which is out here as you can see that's the drive and yeah I'll go to that entry center it'll boot you to the thumb drive to take a while for the first time and as i told you earlier i want i want to install ubuntu on this too so for that i'll be creating the partition now which the so Ubuntu needs uh, minimum 10 GB of space for the operating system and if I ended up 1 GB for the swap partition so no. So I'll be creating them in this installation only. Yeah the mouse is not working so let us use the keyboard. I guess the mouse drivers are not working. So it's okay you can manage it with the keyboard alone. Keep tab for to select the options and everything. So you can use it and we can't actually connect an external mouse we need to have an extra uh, yeah, extra port for that or you can actually use a usb fit to connect an external mouse usb mouse as of now i'll be using the keyboard to actually yeah, for, uh, as you can see that yeah, it's highlighted uh, accept license terms is highlighted and then press space and then press tab to go to the next thing and then space space again to go to the next uh, okay I'll, I'll, lead, I'll be formatting the previous installation and then create two extra partitions so i'll be using custom installation business installation so i'll be typing it as 102400 that's uh, 1024 into 100 that's 100 gb total Control A so that delete, delete everything that's over there. And it's a one zero two four double zero and then tap apply. And that'll take a while once that's done. It'll create all the remaining uh, partition that's uh, required for the PC. And then yeah, uh, now let us go create the partition for uh, Ubuntu too, so you can install them directly uh, in the later when I'm trying to install it. So, yeah. Now yeah, new, and then one zero. Yeah. So now I'll be uh, I want uh, eighteen or nineteen GB for that. And later I'll be creating. Uh, I'll be using nineteen GB for uh, for the Ubuntu installation so that's 19 into 1024 that's 19 4 5 6 mb in total so let me do that 1 9 2 9 4 5 6 tab and then click and play and we'll create the remaining thing so now the remaining thing is 247 mb that i'll be using for the swap so I'll create I'll create that drive too. So now let me install now highlight the the drive with ninety nine point four GB and then click next. That will start the installation. So I'll just fast forward the whole process as it will take a while for the installation to be done. This is how you install Windows 10 and later on in the next videos I'll be showing you how to install the drivers and everything required for your, for your laptop to work properly and in the next in the later videos I'll be showing you how to install Ubuntu and also show the benchmark test for this laptop. Yeah. Uh, I'll be back once the installation is completed.
let's uh, configure them Okay, check that, check that, and then next again. So yeah, the installation took a while, and now it's completed. Now let's try to install the drivers and everything. I'll be back once the system shortly booted up. Then the problem which I am facing now is uh, the mouse is not working, and the Wi-Fi drivers are not installed, and then. Yeah, the solution. I I'll be, I'll be installing the drivers for the uh, Wi-Fi using DRTSU, and for that I need to access the internet. So what I'll be doing is I'll be using an Android device and then use I uh, use USB tethering. Uh, yeah, this is the Android device this is my One Plus One, uh, yeah. and what I'll do is I'll uh, I'll connect it to my computer, and then. Yeah, USB tether the Wi-Fi. I'll, I'll be passing on the Wi-Fi to my phone to the computer using the USB tethering feature available in the Android device. So let me do that. Yeah. First, let me connect my uh, phone to the computer. And what I'll be doing is I'll be using this uh, Type C to USB converter to connect a mouse so I can use the computer easily. So I'll be connecting that and I'll be back once the connections are, are established. He's over here using the Type C converter and uh, my phone to the other USB port. Uh, <laughs> there's a problem I'm facing because I don't have a USB splitter. If you're using a USB splitter, that'll be easier for you to connect more than one device to your. Uh, uh me bouquet uh so yeah, let's uh, go forward uh now go to your android device and then go to settings and i connected my device to the wi-fi network at my house and now i'll go to more and then select tethering and portable uh, hotspot and then enable the usb tethering that should do the trick and for this to be initialized uh, it'll take a while because the setup uh, the network process will be in the windows uh, will take a while when you connect the usb tethering and wait for the connection to be established it will take more than two minutes you'll be back once the internet is established on my laptop and i'm using the internet browser to go to dipsu DRP. go to the site and download the online install installer then do the work. You don't need to actually uh, browse for each and every driver and install each one separately. What this does is it actually uh, scans your uh, computer for all the available uh, devices and then install the drivers directly. Yeah, the internet's, internet's slow. I'll be back on the page loads. So the page is uh, loaded and now let's uh, download the online free version. It's taking this much time. Let's download it now. So open that. I accept that. Yeah, it's, it's loading. Yeah, it is indeed a pain. It is easier than actually scanning all the. As we go into device manager and doing that, this will actually do uh, everything automatically. Uh, click on the export mode, it's over here, and it will download all the drivers that are required. And then the software you can actually uh, install the things which you need and uh, disable the, uh, those which you don't need. Win drive and driver pack notifier is also not needed. And yeah, let's install them automatically.
as I told you earlier, uh, this scans your PC for all the required drivers and then download them and then install it. As you can see, the Bluetooth chipset uh, drivers and then peripherals, and everything, the Wi-Fi download, uh, Wi-Fi drivers, everything will be downloaded directly. And I'll be back once the download's done. By drivers, the mouse pad is working. Now let me restart the PC and uh, uh, check whether all the drivers are uh, working, and then I'll troubleshoot if any other things are required. And this is how you install Windows uh, 10 English version. You can't actually uh, install the English uh, language pack on the Chinese version as uh, as the key only works for the Chinese thing. Uh, and yeah, that's that's all. That's all it. And thanks for watching the video, people. If you like this video, you can click on the like button. And if there are any problems uh, which you didn't understand, you can actually uh, mention them in the comments area, so I can actually help you with that. And also, uh, do uh, do subscribe to my channel to get all the future videos regarding this laptop and many other things. Thank you, people. Goodbye.